Hello and welcome to the cottage at Woodland Corners. Today we're making chicken pot pie. So today we're making chicken pot pie, which is one of my favorite recipes because it brings me back to my childhood. This is definitely a comfort food. And I think I say that about a lot of the things I make because much of what I make, I make because I like it. Um, some things I make just because they're easy. There's very few things I make because I love them, but they're difficult. You're going to find that's just a fact about me is I don't like working hard for flavor unless it's going to be worth that work, which is very few things for me because I, I kind of like the flavors of the things I like. And some of those are just very simple, very comfortable things. So chicken pot pie, I think most people, at least if you grew up in the U S you have these frozen pot pies and yeah, it's kind of considered to be, you know, cheap food and uh, easily accessible food, think something you'd feed a child. It was from the era of TV dinners. And, um, you know, it's going to sound horrible to some folks, but I have a soft spot for those TV dinners, for those weird mashed potatoes and the strange little, uh, you know, maybe not so much the peas and carrots. They were a little bit strange tasting, I think, to me. But, you know, even the, the Salisbury steak and all of that, you just, you grew up with it when you're little. And I think you, you don't know that you're, you know, not supposed to like it or that you're supposed to be super judgmental. And so you just eat what you eat and you enjoy the flavors and that's what it is. Right. And you, your mom puts hamburger helper, uh, on a plate and there you go. And then you grow up and you're just like, you know, I really used to love that as a kid, even though it's, it's not considered high, you know, hot couture. Um, but what are you going to do, right? You like what you like. And a lot of times those flavors that we grew up with as children are the things that we continue to like as adults. Sometimes not, right? Sometimes you look back at what you ate and yeah, okay. There's some things um, I've mentioned before that I didn't prefer my mother's cooking for certain things like pizzas and lasagnas and, you know, uh, a lot of the meats that she served were heavily fried and breaded and I'm, I'm okay with fried and breaded. I, I, uh, can't do too much of it. It's a little heavy um, to me, but I still enjoy it now and then. Depends on depends on the mood, I guess, which is like most foods, right? I'm like that with ice cream too. It's like I'm not a big ice cream eater, but every now and then I could really go for a bowl of ice cream. So pot pie is one of those kid favorites, at least for me, right? When I was growing up, me and my friends, pot pies were just those frozen foods that you could make easily as a child. Um, just put it in the oven, heat it up, or we didn't have microwaves back then. <laughs> but there's just something about the creamy gravy filling with the hot meat and vegetables and that crispy crust, right? That like delicious crunchy crust that you got. And I didn't set out really to do a recipe to reinvent that flavor, but when I make a pot pie, it really does have that flavor. I bite into it and it's exactly like the ones I had as a kid. So for whatever reason, um, that's how it turned out. And I'm very happy with it. I'm going to say that this is one of those recipes that people ask me for. So they'll have it and they'll say, how do you make this? What's in it? And I'm so happy that people enjoy it, but it's, embarrassing, I think, to give the recipe because it's so simple, it's economical, it's easy. It's, it's kind of like the perfect recipe from the standpoint of trying to make a dinner. If you don't have a lot of money, if you don't have a lot of time, if you, um, you know, just want to make something very simple, quick, easy, cost effective which sounds great. But then when you're trying, when somebody's asking you for a recipe, because they think it's going to be something, you know, complicated, or uh, that you put a lot of work into, and then you have to say, No, not really, <laughs> it was super simple. Um, but with that, I mean, you know, that this is something that you can appreciate on many levels. Like I said, it's, it's not going to be high end, if you're looking for high end cuisine, this is not it. Most of it is coming out of a can or a jar or a frozen prepackaged thing. It's got very few ingredients, really. Um, 
And there's not much else I can really say about it. I mean, you'll see from the recipe in the description and also from the video that it's a very simple thing, just one, two, three, easy peasy, and you're done. So if you're looking for something cheap, if you're looking for something flavorful, if you're looking for something easy, this is your recipe, I think. And uh, you can sub things for it too, like I do chicken in this one, but you can set it up however you like it with whatever you, you want to put in it. But you'll, you'll get the idea, I think, when you see it. And with that, let's get cooking.
Thanks so much for joining me this week for the chicken pot pie recipe. Drop me a line in comments if you enjoyed it, if you have ideas, if you try it out and would like to let me know how it came out. I'm very curious. So thanks so much for tuning in. And if you'd like more content like this, like and subscribe and support the channel. Thank you.